Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 192. Lymph node follicle. What is lymph node follicle? Lymph node follicle is an area of the lymph node that is located in the outer cortex. It's the site of B cell localization and proliferation. What are the two types of follicles? The two types of follicles include primary follicles and secondary follicles. Describe the primary and secondary follicles. Primary follicles are dense and are dormant, so there's not a whole lot of activity that goes on in the primary follicles. But the secondary follicles have a pale germinal centers and are active. What is the innermost part of the lymph node? The innermost part of the lymph node is the medulla. What does the medulla consist of? The medulla consists of the medullary cords and the medullary sinuses. What are medullary cords? Medullary cords are closely packed lymphocytes and plasma cells. What cells are contained in the medullary sinuses? In the medullary sinuses, there are reticular cells and macrophages. What is the function of the medullary sinuses? The function of the medullary sinuses is to communicate with the efferent lymphatics. Where is the paracortex of the lymph node located? The paracortex of the lymph node is located between the follicles and the medulla. What does the paracortex contain? The paracortex contains the T-cells. One thing to note about the paracortex is that it contains high endothelial venules through which B and T-cells enter from bloodstream. So it's this region where the B-cells and the T-cells will enter into the lymph nodes. In what situation would the paracortex become enlarged? Paracortex becomes enlarged in extreme cellular immune response, such as with viral infections. What is the name of the condition in which the paracortex of the lymph node is not well developed? It's the George syndrome in which the paracortex is not well developed. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.